Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on this vintage perfume by Oscar de la Renta. And I believe it was the first perfume that they launched and it was also in 1977. It is a true vintage perfume. It is still available on Amazon if you want to give it a go, if you like this type of fragrance. It has aldehydes in it and it gives a, it lends that vintage kind of wind song Chanel number no. five or um, Apareige. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, old timey perfumes. I I like it because it's kind of powdery and I like powdery scents, but I also like sweet scents. But I did pull up the notes. I've only used it one, two, three, three times um, because I wanted to know how long it lasted. And so a very elegant bottle, like it's substantial. I mean, it is Oscar de la Renta. So this is the A Toilette, and it is the 1.7 ounce, which is 50 mil. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to be reading some of the notes because I do not have them memorized. So like I said, it's a um, Adi Toilette, classic Oscar de la Renta. And let's see. It's considered an elegant white floral fragrance with clove, jasmine, rose, amber, musk, and bergamot, florally and powdery dry down. And it's meant to be like an evening wear or a special occasion. So this is nothing that you're going to be wearing, you know, first thing in the morning. I like it as a bedtime fragrance, but I also like my, which I don't think you could see it in the back. Oh, yes, you can. The Chanel number no. one also is my bedtime fragrance. So um, it's not bedtime, but I'm just going to spray it to show you how nice it is. I mean, it's a powerful, mm, I, I smell clove, like right off the back, as soon as the first spray, think of, um, I mean, I personally think of holidays and ham and sticking uh, cloves in the ham, <laughs> but I smell clove and now some rose, a little bit of amber, and it is a, it's just the newer perfumes, oh, look at that cap even, um, I do like Lancome and Sweet Perfumes, to Prada Candy and all those, but sometimes right before bed, I just feel like it's kind of extra special to just put like a spray right before bed, and as you're turning and tossing, you smell it and you just smell lovely. And I wake, when I wake up, I do still have it, and the days that I tried it before bed in the morning, I do still have it on. So that is my little mini review. Um, like I said, I love fragrances. I've been collecting them, I think, for most of my life, actually. Um, I received my first fragrance. I think it was like Electric Youth by Debbie Gibson in the 80s, stating to myself, but this is a mature beauty um, channel. So comment below and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And what I'm most interested in, if you're watching and you're around my age, um, what are your favorite perfumes? What are you loving? You know, do you prefer vintage perfumes, modern perfumes, both? And do you have seasonal perfumes, which I do for spring and summer, fall perfumes and such? It's just very lovely. Anything that makes you feel a little extra special, right? Especially in today's world. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back tomorrow. Have a nice day.